G'day guys, and welcome to week six of my OSCP journey. Now you be, might be a little bit confused as to why I've skipped a week, and that's because when I started doing these videos, I was doing it one week ahead. So I'd be in week two while I'm publishing week one, and so on and so forth. However, uh, just due to time commitments and whatnot, I've actually fallen a little bit behind in my YouTube schedule and we've fast forwarded a week, so we're now in week six. So as it stands, I've done 25 machines and progressing quite nicely. I would like to be a little bit more autonomous when it comes to getting stuck and being able to solve it myself instead of relying a little bit too much on the forums, I think. Um, but other than that, I think that the journey has been quite challenging, but I think I'm, I think I'm doing all right. So <clears throat> one of the biggest things that I've realized that I want to share with you guys today is this idea of challenging assumptions. Now, as many of you may know, in a famous video game, there's a line called, when faced with a setback, we must challenge our assumptions. And that's what I've been telling myself a lot this week. As we often tend to make assumptions when we are conducting our penetration tests, we assume that things will work in a certain way based on our understanding of that tool or protocol or past experiences. And this is something that I feel like I need to start questioning a little bit more and challenging when it comes to basically being able to proceed with some of these machines. Often I do find myself questioning my assumptions and going back over it, and it might not be the intended path to exploit the machine, but it can reveal valuable information which will lead to it. So in terms of progress, as I mentioned, I've done 25 machines. I started the pain machine maybe about two weeks ago. I spent about eight hours on it and really going down to a low level of detail actually probably excessive amount of detail. Um, I was trying to do things which what, I've, what I thought were really clever, but possibly unnecessary. So I haven't looked back at that machine yet, but that will be coming up shortly. Uh, I've had a glance at Sufferance and not at the other two big four. I'll be using Alpha, Beta and Gamma as my exam prep, so when I'm uh, getting geared up to do the exam, I'll do a 24 hour test run in which I'll do those three boxes. And other than that, things are progressing quite nicely with the rest of the 25 machines. <clears throat> a lot of them have been uh, quite interesting and quite fun. And I'm feeling that studying isn't so much a chore anymore and it's just naturally what I do whenever I have time. I just sit down and I work on these labs. So for people who are wondering about this course, uh, and whether or not it's, you know, how stressful it is, then I would say once you get into a pattern, then it's not too stressful. But talk to me when I'm doing the exam and I'll probably say something exactly opposite. Anyway, that's everything I wanted to go over for today. Keep posted for my next videos and I'll try to do some non-OSCP related content soon. I'm just really trying to find the time at the moment. But I appreciate everybody who's been sticking around and watching this journey and I'm really hoping you get something out of it. Thanks again and I'll see you next week.